And now, to seal the net gang, Stain presents to you the British time with Fingridable. Hello and welcome to the second episode of Hard Boiled Logs, which still isn't a series where we eat some boiled trunks. Today I'll be your special host as Usagi is quite the lazy, I mean busy guy. This devlog will be quite short, simply because the whole team is currently focusing on the game as much as possible. So, why did these guys even decide to port Sonic 95 to Harinazumi? Here is some footage that will show you guys why. The first thing you may notice right away is the camera. No more jitter! And Sonic always stays in the center of the screen. As the framework has accurate mania physics, gameplay is definitely more fluid and faster. Also, the drop dash is not crap anymore. Sonic doesn't randomly stop gaining speed now, which is uh, good, right? Pause menu works great, and on most machines, the game finally runs smooth and constant 60 FPS. And apparently, with enough speed and airtime, you can fly! <laughs> Both acts are now filled with all of their respective collision masks. They also have plenty of rings! We still need to port all of the other gimmicks in. The game finally has a proper title screen, with some new sprites too, and oh my god, Parallax! Parallax! <laughs> Splash Hill is getting a graphical revamp yet again. These new tiles were brought to you by... Oh no, not a bunch of DLC announcements again. Wow, such beautiful people. <clears throat> Sonic still misses his balancing sprites. Why hello there, Mr. Mania the Hedgehog. But aside from that, all of his sprites have been remade and added in-game. He also has more dynamic animations, like when you run fast off a slope. He will project himself upwards before falling back down. He actually curls up into a ball if you press jump while falling now. The Discord Rich Presence extension made by Awab is back in business. People can now spy your gameplay by looking at your Discord profile. And now for a sneak peek of the world map that you will explore next week. Yes, this world map is based on 3D Blast, and yes, we tried to emulate the director's cut physics in case you were wondering. Now with that said, we'll see you next week with a new devlog and the official release of the 2.0 update aka the Century Egg update. Thank you.